Hi guys, Frost Fangs here. Welcome back once again to another Paladins video. First video on Fernando, just like some of the other characters I've did recently in about a year. Really overdue for this one. The build has changed a little bit, but it's still very similar. A little bit more aggressive, and the Towering Barrier card is just not in my normal setup anymore. Because even though it does technically buff Aegis, it's at a really low percentage where it's not even that noticeable. So if I'm grabbing Aegis, I won't even run that setup. If they buff it, then it would be something like this. But at the moment, I run this version, which is a little bit different what I showed you like a year ago. So we have healing when we drop below 35%. We've got the shield up. This is actually really strong, 450 a second. It's kind of crazy. Reset on the F with the right click. Bit of extra speed, bit of extra health. Although I do want to say there's definitely room for improvement with what I'm going to be showing you. Because even though I'm solid with him, I've been playing quite a bit recently. Enjoying my time with him. There are definitely nuance to him, even though he is the shield character. That maybe I don't take full advantage of. Don't know if that was the best way to word it. But we've got Siege Sentry Peak. We've got an Andro who looks pretty solid. And is on at the end who I'm a little bit worried about. And then a Dan Burnham for their side. A Satya Maeve. A Betty Array. And another Nando. This should be a pretty solid situation for it. Your main sort of goal with Nando is to be annoying and sort of get in the way. There's a lot of things you can do with him that really annoy the enemy team. That you maybe won't pick up on as you play him. But if you've gone against a good Nando before get what I mean. For items, I tend to go veteran and nimble to start and then get haven. There's other stuff you want to grab like morale boost or chronos, maybe. It just depends on the scenario. Again, not the best Nando ever, but this works quite well for the start of the round. We've got Curse Revolver, Persistence, Ripen, Gwil Alacrity, Fiery Disposition, Extension, Aegis again, Cat Burglar and Window. And he's running a bit of a different setup with Reset on the F from the Fireball. Just sort of being aggressive here. I guess we can push in. Betty's gone here, I think, with the Ray. Here we go. Really weird start of the round there. Andro's up. Sati's on the point. Fernando's still here too. Okay, I guess I'm just going to try and hold it as long as I can until someone runs in. Really, I'm just trying to be as annoying as possible here. The Q doesn't go through shields. I don't know why I always think it does. Just tick the sort of sat here and go into the shield and do that over and over again. Got rid of a lot of the race health there. Betty is a big pain in the ass though as a Fernando just because she has crazy output. I think I'm dead here. It's like five of them on me. I don't know where our damages are. That is the Betty gone. We've also went for the auto. I don't know if I'm the only person who's going to be playing aggressive, but Zan pushes in with me here. We should really be able to just pressure the Nando away. Just dash through him here and just tick him from the back. Sort of. Is this working? I don't know. I have the ultimate app. Do we just pop it here to save the Azan? Yeah, if he's going to run away from me, he will be cleared. I'm trying to left click, but it wasn't working. Don't know about that one. We'll dash into the Gord. See if we can get out of Cauterize, which is another really big thing you want to try and do with the shield. I am just getting sort of battered here. I'm trying to do seven again, playing the objective, but that's going to be the zero one overtime trigger. I guess you can definitely do a lot with Fernando, like I said in the intro, but I don't know if you can necessarily carry a game. You can make a really, really big difference, like a lot of tanks can. Most tanks, though, suffer from not being able to hyper carry if you've not got the sort of damage output. It's going to stand in the right point of court here for crazy heals. Trying not to be too mean, but I don't think the end is doing a great job here, and I don't even really know if I've seen Fernando that much. I'm going to dash back a bit. Fire some, maybe, if we can. I'm just totally gone. I'm in the middle of everybody again. Push in here a bit. As on really went hard there. Tons of tick damage. We'll see at the end if we're close to the rest of the team. I think we're actually going to have a pretty comparable amount. It's another really big fireball, but just trying to pull away. Shouts down before the heal. Sati with the ult. We are fine though, right? We can juke in a bit. Yeah, he's going for his ult here. Sure, there's a Q. I have the ultimate app. I'm going to wait for the shield, maybe. Be able to pop it. Bit of a crappy ult, but I feel like I'm usually too conservative with the Nando one. There's an F Thrim. He's a really quite low. Wish we could somehow get some damage to him. That's made with the ult again. Dead there on the point. We're 0 2. I feel like uh, Dam is doing fine. Andro, over there, I'm not seeing that much. Is obviously the flanker. Leanne, not really outputting that much. And then Azon's not really playing with me all the damage as far as I can tell. Let's run in and give this one another shot. Because obviously we are just a Fernando here. I am pretty team dependent. I might push in and try and deal some damage to the rain pressure. We sort of won the early round last time. But it didn't end up with us winning it. We'll put the right click a bit. Wiggle away a tad and more ticks. I can't kill both of them on my own. I don't know what the team's doing. But Damba's dead. That is the 0-3 running back in here. I feel like it really is just the damage thing. I've said this I think before in a really, really recent video. That we just don't have the output but it's especially noticeable if i'm on a character like fernando that i just really can't do very much to sort of turn the tides of what's going on in these fights i'm trying to push in trying to be aggressive but i feel like even then i'm just like the only person getting rid of the people at the back pretty obvious what i'm trying to say here especially if you're watching the game there's a dash through the fernando i do have the ultimate i guess we can pop it got knocked up there by the sati as i went for it there i did that just to say my own ass but maybe we can turn the fight around nando's going for his we should make sure the ray dies here Get some ticks on her. Sure, she was on a 22 streak. Ticks on the Betty. We'll block that a bit. There's a Q. There's the shield again. Yeah, you just want to kind of deploy it, deploy it. Use the F, get the reset. That same sort of structure as you've probably seen with Nando a million times before. Really, I'm trying to save this Damba, keep him up. He's actually doing a really good job with the heals. 
Let's Maeve dead with the ult. If I was on was aggressive here, we could still work this out even without Elian doing a crazy amount. There's the shield trying to stay in the gourd. That's Betty with the ult. We're going to dash through. If we get rid of the ray here, that would be kind of huge. I missed the fireball. There's the right click. Okay, that's the gourd. A little bit late here, though. And yeah, anyway, there you go. There are the stats. Shoutouts to their ray and their Maeve. We did surprisingly solid there. 106 seconds on the point. 58k, 100k. I am more than happy with that. Leanne, as I sort of said there, wasn't doing very much. Azan, neither. To be honest, Dambo was doing solid though. I'd say Andrew was doing fine. I feel like it was a good showcase for Fernando, but it also very much displayed his weakness. The fact that you are a tank, you're dependent on your team. All right, well, for game two, we've got a Siege Fish Market. A map I haven't played in forever because it is only on Siege. Wish it was on King of the Hill or something, but we have got hopefully a, he a healer at the end. We've got a Maven, Andrew, and a Vivian. Again, going to be very dependent on the team. We'll see how we do. Not really too hopeful for the level two Dambo. We'll see. And for their side, Andrew, Tyra, Ray, Rom and to BK. I can definitely see what Matarigas tried to do here, and I'm sure you can too. We'll go for Aegis and see what we can do for the talent. We've got Spirits Chosen, Cursed Revolver, Street Justice, Respect Everybody, Extension Enforce, Accelerant, Most Secure, and Cursed Revolver. So BK might not be too much of a problem. We'll see. I'm going to just try and blast that Ram, so sort of tick him, and put the shield, although the shield's already gone, because of course it is. They just have crazy damage. Push back in. Maybe we can get rid of the Ray. She's super low. Put the shield. Just dash into a finisher off here. Why am I playing the role of a flanker? I guess it's kind of, I kind of have to. We killed her. That worked somehow. Hello, BK. Did you forget about me? I guess. Yeah, I'm sure. Just going to stand here heal up a bit this is such a weird game so to summarize because i'm going to cut all of it out we've got team wiped on the point twice it's zero one and our andrew has dc'd it is 5 a.m so this is sort of to be expected but yeah peak paladins right now i'm gonna try and show off an ando as best i can maybe get one point on the board but i'm not too hopeful we'll see just gonna take him a little bit go for the ult maybe is there any point even i guess i'll just die yeah, this is a really uneven game, let alone the fact that it's a 4v5. Definitely felt like they had people who were going to carry, whereas on my side, it seems to just be me. And I'm on Fernando, so that isn't really going to happen. Not to say that the people on my side are necessarily bad. I just don't know if they're really going to carry this. We're going to go for the ult here on the point. That's BK going for his, so I guess this worked as a counter, sort of. Although not really, You're just going to try and dodge it. Throw a fireball there. They're both really though. Andrew's in our back line though. They're just all in front of me now. Full health. We'll dash. Try and juke a little bit. Just be kind of annoying, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to play Nando, but what can I really do here? Let's be honest. For some reason, I always forget that PK's cube like clears my shield completely. We did get the 0-3. By the way, well, I guess they got the 3 nil is a better way to put it. Talked about it for sure in a different video, but I've scrapped videos like this before just because they're not necessarily the best stuff that I want to put out, but... Every now and again, I feel like videos like this can be kind of funny and worth putting on the channel just to show the real variance that is playing Paladins. Anyway, I'm sure you got where I was trying to go with that. That's the 0-4. This has definitely happened before even in a Fernando video, but even in the best case scenario for Fernando, it doesn't even look like you're doing that much. It's just you annoying the enemy team. There are stats though, again, yeah, what can I say? I'm sure there are Fernando mains out there that would have found this video relatable, and some of you guys even that play other tanks or other healers, people that suffer with the same sort of problem. Either way, I hope it has been enjoyable to watch. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys all, of course, very, very soon. Let me know, like I always say, what you want to see me the next. And as always, stay frosty.